name is Terry O'Brien from Playpen Agency and I am here to talk about how I choose artists for the Playpen roster. Uh, first thing to say is that uh, like most agents I'm working at capacity most of the time, long hours looking after all the artists who are already on the roster so I'm usually unfortunately not in a position to take on new artists um, but occasionally something will change, an opening will uh, open up on the roster, an artist retires or moves on or changes career and, uh, and suddenly I've got space and I am looking for someone new. Uh, in those situations I am generally uh, well versed in what is going on in the, uh, in the, the folk world because I am constantly keeping an ear to the ground. I'm always looking for new artist names that I've never heard of that pop up in uh, the media or online or on showcase events. Uh, constantly checking people out, constantly going on YouTube to watch videos, uh, listening to recommendations from fellow uh, people in the industry who I trust and who I know know good music. Um, so usually if uh, an opening does open up, I'll have a good idea about who's out there and who might be of interest, to who I think I can work with, who I've heard good things about, whose music obviously that I love, and who I also think that there is a demand for. And that's really important that, you know, it's not just about whether the music's good, it's whether there is a current demand in the industry for that kind of artist. Are promoters asking me for those sort of artists? Am I seeing those sort of artists do really well? And that could be, um, you know, anything to do with the the style of music, the, the size of band, uh, the uh, gender of the band, things that, that are suddenly in demand when, when uh, there was obviously a huge debate about women in music and women not having enough mu uh, not getting enough space on stages there was suddenly a really interesting demand for female artists and it's seeing those trends and noticing those trends will make a difference to you know who i'm starting to look at for filling that gap on the roster um, of course i do also get approaches from artists all the time and I have to say that I do always click through and listen to some of the music. I will never not listen and I will, in almost all cases, I will at least send some kind of reply. Um, I, you know, I do want, I'm interested, I want to know what's going on. So if you send me your music, I, I will want to hear it. Um, some things to think about when you're approaching an agent uh, that might help your case and get you listened to. Um, it won't necessarily get you onto the roster, but it will certainly get you listened to. Um, please don't send huge MP3 files, don't send huge picture files, um, don't just tell us how wonderful you think you are, um, but do do things like um, contact us by email, try not to send CDs, we would rather you sell those on your merch desk. Contact us by email, send some good quality video, some links to good quality live video footage and it's live video footage that we're really interested in, not so much the official videos that uh, cater more to your audience. Um, tell us what you've been doing, tell us what you've achieved, send us press quotes, um, tell us what festivals and venues you've played, what, what kind of touring you've done, all of this will inform whether you know, we think we can bring something to the party and, you know, take take you on from where you've got to and move you up. Um, obviously, we're not, I'm not going to take on an artist if I don't think I can add something in to what's already happening. Uh, and, you know, I need to know that I can add value. And um, if, if I'm interested, I will always contact people, have a chat with them on the phone. And then obviously the next thing is to come out and see you play live. Um, and I won't make a decision about adding somebody to the roster until I've done that. Uh, and that's how it works. I uh, hope this has been useful. Thank you very much.